What is up? What is up, Hustle family? I hope you all have had an amazing day. As always, that's what we want here, is you guys to get some form of either educational value or entertainment out of these videos. Uh, and today, what we're doing is a much promised video. We just upgraded to the Dymo 4XL Thermal Label Printer. Now, I'm going to say right off the bat, we did our first year on Amazon and eBay with a $30 inkjet printer from Walmart, and we did not have one complaint. Now, we did about 1,000 orders, but probably about 850 to 1,000 orders in that year on Amazon, eBay, and Mercari. And we used an inkjet printer the whole time. So, upfront disclaimer, there will be a label below, or there will be a label below, he says, as he stumbles over himself. There will be a link below to the Dymo printer in question, the one I'm talking about here with you guys. The one this review is about is going to be linked down below, but you don't need it. You know, there's going to be a lot of people out there that say, hey, you're running a business, you need the best equipment possible. You need to spend $200 or whatever it is, whether you're getting a Dymo or a Zebra or a Rolo, whatever you're doing, you know, they're going to say you need this thermal printer. It's going to look professional. It's going to feel professional. And if you're not doing it, if you're taping labels to boxes, customers are going to get upset and they're not. Over a thousand orders, well, around a thousand orders, and not one customer complaint about our label. We have a hundred percent feedback on eBay, a hundred percent feedback on Mercari, and about ninety-five percent feedback on Amazon. One of those was a weird FBA, whatever or not. The item was never received, so we got you know a couple dings on Amazon, but nothing to do with our labeling or the manner or fashion in which we label our boxes. So if you're just getting started, you don't need to spend 200 bucks on a thermal, thermal printer. Um, you can go to Walmart, you can buy a $29.99 Canon inkjet basic uh, or office jet printer, and that'll work just fine for you. You can get rolls of tape, um, the Duck brand quiet tape, four rolls for 10 bucks. We were using about one of those a month. So, you know, you can see that it's, it's very, very viable to just go get an inkjet printer, especially if you're just starting out. If you're not even a pro seller on Amazon, which is doing 40 or more sales a month, and, you know, if you're not a top rated seller on eBay, you only have, you know, say under 100 listings, you're only doing two, three or four shipments every week. Go grab yourself an inkjet printer. You can just tape the labels on, cut out the label, super easy and you don't need it. But if you are in kind of our case where we're doing, you know, 20 plus shipments a week now, the thermal printer really helps. And let me break it down for you guys. We paid 200 bucks for our Dymo thermal printer. Now, the Dymo 4XL is going to be the one that can print the, um, the 4x6 labels. The Dymo Turbo Label Writer 450 mouthful, I believe it's called, can only do... The small little labels like yay they can only do the um, one inch by four inch I think I don't know I don't have one I don't use those labels so I, I'm not sure um, we just do the 30 up labels say you know for Amazon FBA books or Amazon FBA in general when you're doing your labeling on your products before you send it in you know you have a sheet of 30 up labels we run it through the inkjet printer works perfectly fine and we're gonna keep doing that we are not yet ready to get a Dymo 450 for the little guys. As you know, the $29 inkjet works just perfect, and we send about 100 books a week to FBA. Never had a single issue. We had one book one time that became stranded, um, but I don't believe it was from the label at all. So when it comes down to it, we were spending about $2 a month on paper. That's nothing. We were spending about $30 a month on ink, so we were going through two ink cartridges a month, and each one uh, for our 2652 Office Jet Black ink, uh, they were costing us about 15 plus tax a piece. We were going through two of those for about 30 bucks, and we were spending about $10 a month in tape. So we're spending 42 to $45 a month, which means in five months, four to five months, the Dymo is already going to pay itself off. Because once you get the Dymo, the beautiful thing is there's no more cost involved. It's a thermal printer, which means it heat transfers your, your writing, your content. Your, the, the content of the label, it will 
heat transfer it onto the physical label. Then you just peel it off, slap it on, um, and there's no more. I was looking to see if I had an example here, but I've already done all my shipping. Um, you just peel it off, slap it on, and it's super, super easy. You know, and outside of cost, you know, where's the 45 bucks a month that we were spending on um, ink, paper, and tape? It was time, and time is very valuable. We were spending time to cut out that label. We were spending extra time to tape that label on and say something wonky happened with the tape and the label got folded under it. We were having to reprint it using even more supplies. So for us, it was extremely, extremely viable at you know kind of the, the point that we're at to spend the $200 on the Dymo. Now we've already printed, uh, I'd say probably 150 labels through it in the past two and a half weeks. We wanted to test it out for you know two to three weeks before making this review, because if we got it on day one, printed out 20 labels, and we were like, hey, this thing is great, we haven't had any flaws, we haven't had any problems at all, then what happened if two or three days later, you know, we start to have errors, we start to have jams, um, then that review would be inaccurate. So here we are, about two and a half weeks, three weeks in, we've put about 150 labels through it, we've never had a misprint, we've never had a jam, we've never had any issues at all. Um, the Dymo 4XL Turbo is a beautiful machine. Um, it'll print a label in, you know, two seconds flat, peel it, slap it, and you're good. Now, this is the only downside that I can see. When we initially got the Dymo, um, we had an install disk. Now, I tried to download the drivers directly from the Dymo site, and I got the, I got the wrong drivers, essentially. I don't know how it happened, but I got the wrong drivers, and we ha were having errors. Errors upon errors for, I'd say, you know, three, four hours it took me to figure this out. So when you do go buy it, the one thing I would recommend, if you want to make your life a little bit easier, you know, sometimes you can find a used one for 180 you know, you can find the new ones for, you know, 190 to 210 sometimes, not always. They can be more expensive or less expensive on both sides, but as an average, that's what I personally saw. Um, spend the extra 10, 15 bucks just because you'll get the manual, you'll get the driver CD, and um, you may get a, a roll of Dymo as well, a roll of the Dymo labels, which I believe there's um, two to 250 labels per roll. Now, here's the cool part. As I said, there's no costs at all once you get your Dymo to keep printing. But Andrew, what do you mean? There's labels, you gotta buy labels, and labels are $20 a roll. Wrong. If you go to FedEx or UPS, if you go to their website, or if you go into their store, you can actually get free labels. 100% free labels. You will never have to pay for ink, never have to pay for paper, never have to pay for tape or labels. Once you get the Dymo, shipping becomes free, at least, you know, on the actual supplies it takes to ship the item. So, I mean, honestly, the Dymo was the best investment we've done so far, and that is over, you know, the racks that we got for our inventory, the fold-out tables we got for our shipping station, um, the upgraded monitor that we got to kind of let us see... Um, you know, only luxury that we wanted with that. The Dymo uh, 4XL Turbo is an absolutely amazing machine. It's done everything we've wanted it to. It hasn't had a hiccup, and we've really put it through the ringer. So if you're looking to save some money or you're going into a time, you know, fourth quarter is here, shipping is going to become, you know, something that you're doing on the regular if you are scaling or if you have a larger store. Even if you have a small store that's doing a lot of numbers, you know, you're pushing a lot of product, it may be time to invest in a Dymo. So if you guys have any questions about it, I know I kind of just ranted for nine minutes here, but I hope that I answered some of your questions about the Dymo printer. If you have any questions at all, don't be afraid, leave a comment down there below. I've made an entire video for one person, one comment, one question. So I have absolutely no problem answering all your guys' questions. I would definitely give the Dymo a 10 out of 10. You know, if we scale even further, you know, we might get another one just because we both have our accounts going and that's a lot of printing. And we can just have, you know, one account on one computer, one account on another computer, both hooked up to their own Dymo, and we can just go. So, you know, it's something we're going to invest even further in, and we will eventually get the 450. Remember, 
The Dymo 450 cannot print the 4x6 labels. It can only print the little guys. The Dymo 4XL is going to be the one you want for the big shipping labels. So don't make that mistake. I've seen people do it before. And if you have any questions, leave it right down there in the comments, and I'm going to get to you as soon as my hectic day permits. So as always, guys, go out there and get it. Don't be afraid to try something new. Don't be afraid to go through the women's clothing aisle as a guy. Don't be afraid to start sorting through tools as a woman. Nobody, you know, nobody's really going to care what you're doing or why you're doing it. And if they do, then you're already a step ahead of them because they're sitting there questioning why someone is doing something to make money and you're out there making that money. So whatever it is, if you are wanting to start a YouTube channel and you're afraid of just hitting that record button there and talking to people blindly, just do it. You know, um, Ryan Roots from Rally Roots gave me the best advice I've ever had for my YouTube channel. He said, it doesn't matter how much you edit it. It doesn't matter, you know, if you have, if you're just recording it on your phone. You know, you don't have to have the GoPro. You don't have to have the full setup. Just put content out there. Put out relevant content that people want to see and just try and help people. And if you do that, then you're good. You're golden. What more can you do? So no matter what you're afraid of, no matter what questions or fears you have, just get out there and do it. And I promise you will see some serious changes. So go out there and get it, guys. As always, the links down there below, um, we will link everything that we use from the Dymo printer that we're talking about now to the poly bags that we get for 10 cents a piece in the bundle. Um, just everything that we use for our reselling business and that that spreads through Amazon, Mercari, Poshmark, um, eBay. I knew I was leaving one out there but that stretches through all of that so those links are down there for you guys and of course again I want to reiterate if you have any questions, any concerns or any non-violent reactions leave them down there below and go out there and kill it make a ton of money and provide for yourself. Take it easy guys.